Hey guys, a quick tutorial just to show you how to edit the uh, babushka um, backdrop. Yes, I know it's called matryoshka, but um, we name it babushka because that's the name that most people know it is, and we're happy with it. So um, I understand that some of you find this backdrop quite difficult, and it is actually not the easiest one. So um, I was asked if I can make a tutorial, and I'm happy to do it right now. So um, I just grabbed an image from uh, one of my old folders of uh, the newborns. The reason that I've picked this image is um, baby's got a nice straight face and you really want the face to look symmetrical. So I might say that um, a potato sack image or a froggy would be really good because the face would be in the right um, direction and we usually do it very straight but if you got an image just like that and you think it's straight enough go for it it should be good so I've never actually tried to edit this one this is the first time and I'm gonna go for it right now so um, first thing we want to look at and the first thing that kind of jumps at me is the light direction so here on the image the light direction is coming from the right top right and on the backdrop it's actually the top left so we're going to need to flip the image to the other side we're going to click on edit we're going to go for free transform and flip horizontal and this will only flip that image the image that is um the last one it's won't affect it's not going to affect the backdrop underneath so that's good now we're going to want to resize the image of first let's just drag it we're dragging this layer under this one so we can see um, the image under the um, hole right there now we're just going to want to resize it so i'm clicking on the shift um, shift um, key on my keyboard And I'm just putting it in the right position first. So I'm just slowly rotating till I find that the face is like straight enough. Now, as you can see, um, the whole the whole area here is like not exactly correct, but we're gonna fix it because we don't want to show the bonnet underneath it. Now let's just click OK, which is right there by the way. Um, actually I'm gonna have a quick look to see. Yeah, I'm happy with the size of the face, so I'm gonna click OK. If I need to change it, I can always do that later on. I'm just gonna zoom in because I want to see first what else I want to do in this image. So, the first thing I want to do, I'm going to drag with the liquify just a little bit of the forehead here so first of all let's just go to liquify filter liquify okay just zooming in because I, I do want to work very gently sizing my brush and if I want to see the backdrop underneath it which is not very important to me right now, but if you feel this can help you, you can just do that. But I'm just going to drag. I don't need to drag it all the way under the um, babushka bonnet. But I want to drag it some what so try not to touch the eyes and areas like that. I'm actually going to touch a little bit here just to make the mouth a little more symmetrical. 
just tiny little touches right there. All right, I'm going to click OK just to see where we are. Okay, so we kind of moved from here to there, which is fine. Now we're going to do a different thing. We're going to use um, the Babushka backdrop and we're going to liquefy it down because I really need to cover that. I'm going to zoom in. And the show backdrop is already ticked here. This is why we can see what's underneath it. Just got bigger brush. Try to just avoid all these parts by simply selecting a better image. And a better image would be one that you don't actually need to cover bits here and there. Let's just click OK just because we want to see. We're not done, but we want to see where we are. OK, so this kind of created a little bit of um, ugly texture. It's a bit like not really textured nicely. So we're going to work on that one as well. And we're going to do that later. So the next thing I want to do, just just want to expose a little more of her um, cheeks. So going back to the liquify, all right, zoom in, zoom all the way so you can see things very nicely and clear, and. I'm just playing here because I want to see where where I can see things better. Okay, so this would be the better option for me right now. Hold on one second, just got a little bit stuck. There you go. So I've just selected the um, layer that I want to see, want want to see, and now I'm just going to make that selection a little more exact to her face. So I'm simply dragging the backdrop and putting it around her face. Okay, I think that looks pretty good right now. Don't want it to be too much. I'm going to click OK. All right, so now we have a nice and good shape of her face. Just going to reduce the opacity so we can see. There you go. All right, zoom out and let's have a quick look just to reassess things and see how we feel about things. So. I feel that here is a little bit too round for me, so I'm going to work a little bit more with the liquify to just create a better shape, a shape that I feel that works better with her face. Okay, so it's a little hard to see it like that. Might just nope. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. I'm just squeezing it a little bit so her head wouldn't look too, <clears throat> too puffed. Just creating a better shape. I feel that every single image would need something a little bit different, but it should be the general kind of 
lines that we want to follow. All right, let's just go before and after so we can see what happened. All right, that looks okay. I've moved a little bit here of the babushka um, on the side, but it's not really looking bad or anything. So that's also just fine. Um, what else would I do on this image? Um, might add a tiny bit of shadow right there as well and along the lines here maybe a little more light on this side just a little bit because this is pretty bright compared to the face so um, we're going back to the face layer okay so you can use I'm not going to use my actions right now I'll try to use just click, click on it and click OK and um, I'm just going to try and use what I got on Photoshop. Alright, so we're using the dodge tool right now just to add some more light. I'm going to use it on the mid-tone. Always starting very low. Just adding some light here and there. All right, that well, looks okay to me. Now her face is not totally symmetrical. Um, you can maybe liquefy a tiny bit here and there just to make it a little more symmetrical because it's really important for the image. And now we try not to touch baby face when we work. But if you get stuck and you feel that it won't work for you, then tiny bit of touches will be something that no one will actually notice. Like on the nostrils here. Just to put it, oopsie Daisy, just to put it um, a little more in the center. Okay. And I'm just making it, I know it's so tiny, I don't even know if you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, but I'm just making that little nostril um, symmetrical to the other one so it won't look like the nose is. A bit off to the other side and we're gonna have a little bit of a touch right there just to put it in the middle and I'm gonna click OK so we got before and after just a tiny little sort of touch that makes it make sense more I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it better so before when it looks like the face is a little bit towards the right and after so it's a little more to the center which is very important with this particular backdrop okay so time to add a little bit of shadows i'm going to use well usually what i do is just duplicate the back the um, baby image and i um change the baby uh sorry the layer mode to multiply and I take it down a bit and I open a layer mask. I invert it, so Command I or Control I on PC. I'm working on a Mac. And now, when we got the black mask, we can use the white brush to bring back some of these shadows. Okay? So going to paint a tiny bit of shadows here and there and if I feel it's too much I can just change my brush back to um, black and just remove it so it's really just tiny little touches here and there not too much on this side because this is like the bright side 
in my mouth. All right. Now I got my brush slightly bigger and very low opacity. And I'm just giving it a little bit of touches here and there. Let's have a quick look of what before and after looks like. All right, before and after. Before. Okay, my before and after doesn't really move so well. There you go, before and after. All right, so now it looks like there's some more depth here and baby face is sort of like under the um the wrap thingy now i will make all these little edges a little bit smoother today i'm just thinking whether i'm going to do it before or after so i'm pretty happy with this to be honest i might just flatten the image and just work on final little touches I'm just zooming out so I can have a quick clear view and I can think of what else I feel that I should do with this image and I'm not quite sure so I'm just going to flatten this image but if you guys work on this image and you are not sure if you did well or not so before you continue just simply save it on your computer and then flatten image and send it to me to review. Make sure you put your watermark on your image and even the baby if needed. But on the backdrop for sure because you guys know um, what happens. Um, so at this point I'm just going to flatten my image uh, which is a layer flatten image. Sorry I just went back to my actions and um, I'm going to duplicate just drag to this little icon, duplicate the image because I want to work on the duplicate um, layer. And I'm going to go to filter liquify. I'm just going to smooth out this little bumpy area here and there. Just don't feel like having them today. Alright, doesn't have to be too much. Okay, I feel like it's okay, so I'm going to click OK. That's a before and after. If you guys like to leave it like that, leave it like that. It's just, you know, how I feel about it. I'm going to, no, I'm going to flatten the image from here. So layer, flatten the image. I'm going to duplicate it again because I don't like how um, my liquify kind of liquefied the fabric here and made it look a bit weird. I'm going to try to work on that. Just using, oh sorry I forgot to explain, I'm using my patch tool and I'm just dragging the areas that doesn't look, you know, that didn't do it well. I'm just dragging areas that doesn't look um, smooth to me. Oops. And just fixing it a little bit here, a little bit there. Just so I won't see that sort of stretch that I've made. All right, so before and after, this looks pretty cool. It's all good. I'm going to flatten my image. You already know how to do it, so I'm just going to keep on using my. Um, actions and I'm going to use the blur tool right now so here's the blur tool I just want to blur a little bit of um, the connection here just blur it together with the skin all right it's all blurred blah 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 oh gosh I'm on 18% this is why it takes ages never mind I'll be started. There you go, it's all blurred, so I think it looks okay. And that's pretty much it. 
baby is in the backdrop okay so maybe just sharpen some of the baby face details if you feel like it or add a layer of um, like a, for the filter on the top so maybe a pink filter because it's all very pink so you see how cute it looks with the pink filter I just use a pink filter which you can get it right there if you go hold on let me just drag oops, drag it here so you just click here on photo filter and if you go towards the red colors so it will come out nice and pink on the actual image but now it's a little too pink so I'm not going to do not going to double it so I'm just using my um, quick action there and that's a little bit of pink I'm fix my stuff and I'm going to flatten this image and if you feel like warming the image I can just warm the image if you feel like adding some more light on baby's face a little bit here maybe um, but that's pretty much it and I think I did a good job I think I hope you guys like that job and it looks okay to you um, you can maybe work a little bit here I wasn't very exact here um, I'm just going to clone a little bit of that and fix my lane work there that looks okay um, you could also add a little bit of shadow maybe just a little bit under the chin but don't have to it still looks okay um, I think it looks okay so if that helped you then good and let me know what you think as always and love you and see you later bye bye